Ah, uh, the Wistful Times with Friends podcast. I welcome you, listener, to episode 3. This is actually an archived episode from another podcast and it did titled the Questioning with Friends podcast. However, it is now once again available after being taken offline in late 2020. So without further ado, we present episode 3. Hosted by Tony, accompanied by Jose. Omar and Dan Kinito. want to talk about do you want do you guys want to bully jose relentlessly for oh like, hell you know, yeah i want to bully uh, him. Fuck how him, about man. we just get over it that at least i'm here so <laughs> okay like so... christian that builds on us <laughs> you can you yeah, can beat by his mom so that's okay anyways that's no but, excuse. Uh, okay but i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to give out to, <laughs> i don't want to give out to the viewers out there or that were listening on this aliens so it took 44 minutes for Jose to get this thing working, and it only Don't took me it, it took minutes. me less than a minute to get mine working. Jose has a flip phone, that's why, you know. He, he has two <laughs> it's an actually Nokia. Oh, it's a Nokia? <laughs> yeah, you can, be, you can call it Diddy Mobile on it, too. I offered to get Jose a new phone, but he's like, I don't need a new phone. Because I already have a new phone. This is a new phone. You wasted, you wasted your money. But there, you can't do anything with that piece of shit. Hey, as, what am I doing? As now? proven right now, forty-four minutes. Hey, better late than never. Oh my god! <laughs> you keep saying that, but, but it's true, like, isn't it? It, it? Sure, sure. I'll give you that. But it cut into our time. Uh, you said you're gonna be leaving by nine. Um, yeah, like we could have had hour. two hours of content. Fine, you know sure, what? Whatever. Uh, the episode can wait. It's it's gonna be on Hulu tomorrow in the morning, so I'll just wait then. Hulu? Yeah. <laughs> what? The okay, this fucking our, TV this show. This is our next topic of discussion. <laughs> <laughs> We're a okay. fucking TV show. Okay. Yes, the best TV show on TV on Wednesday night at nine o'clock. Um, what we do on the sh- what we do in the shadows is we gonna be. The shadows? Uh, yeah. Oh, you mean that pe- you mean that piece of shit mockumentary? Mm. Hey, I'm not I'm not I'm not talking about Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> whatever whatever you want to say, Mr. 28 Tabs on Google Chrome. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, what the fuck was I going to say? Uh yeah, I'll just wait. I'll just, I'll just watch the episode tomorrow. Anyway, why do you have 28 tabs open, if I may ask? Because I go on Reddit. It's for Reddit and my email. And uh... ain't, ain't there a way you could, like, um, you know, pin those uh, those comments? Then um, why do you have I... 28 tabs open? Because, look, you go on Reddit, and then you get rid of it, and then you close it. Then you go again, and it makes a separate tab. And you don't... And you don't... Oh, yeah, he's... He... He's not bullshitting. Like, uh, when I used to have an Android phone, like, because I would run out of storage space and I couldn't download any apps, I would um, <clears throat> pin the website onto my homepage and then it would open a new tab every time that I would um, press uh, press the icon. Yeah. So but not everything Jose's saying is bullshit. Reddit and email. I've been, sh- well, we ha- I've been checking my email a lot lately because of the, you know, and... Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. <clears throat> You've been checking your Go email on. because of what? Well, for, 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 because of all the college stuff, all the assignments we have. Didn't, didn't you already get like um, accepted to college? Yeah, but I yeah, but they're still emailing me. I'm gonna start rejecting you know, them next week. Yeah, you, you know you could just block their email, right? 
That, that's rude, Omar. <laughs> oh, okay. Bro, they're really bothersome, but I ain't gonna block them. Yeah. I have over a thousand unopened emails, but I'm not gonna block them, you know. I don't wanna be rude. I read all my emails. How do, how do I tell the college board bot to fuck off? Doesn't they say, like, uh, text back stop to, like, stop sending messages? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That was the first message they sent. Mood. Mood. <clears throat> yeah. While we're, on the, while we're on the topic of colleges, um, do any of y'all want to explain what y'all are going to be doing in your futures? We speak a lot about it during the group chat, but I'd like to address it here. Uh, would, you like start, of- would, you, would you like to start, off, uh, start us off, then Jose, then me, then Jaime? <clears throat> sure, I'll start it off. Uh, I've, uh, for those of you that know who I am, like, uh, you're, you know, like what my passions are. Um, so, and I've been saying it a lot and I've been posting it o- everywhere. Uh, I managed to get into my dream school, which was, um, Columbia college, Chicago, and I'm going to be pursuing the career of filmmaking and, um, some minors, like including game design and, uh, music technology or something along those lines. And, um, because there's not so much job security with like filmmaking it's it's a really difficult industry to get to if that doesn't work and then i'll end up transferring to another um university and i'll try to get a major in psychology if that if the film thing doesn't work out nice all right who's next i am aren't i yes sir i mean if you if you want to go i guess uh i don't know i just Pretty much the same thing said. I'm just going to try and get into some sort of filmmaking, mostly either screenwriting or directing. Um, and if that doesn't work out, I guess I'll just transfer over to, like, just writing, like journalism or something like that in Colombia. Woo! Yeah. Being back, making moves. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Dankinator. Oh, all right. <laughs> They got into us. My, I want to say dream school. I never had a real dream school in mind. I pretty much mm-hmm. was pretty much open to almost anything. So I got into DePaul. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm pursuing uh, my major in anthropology. As for minors, I'm still looking into that. I don't really have anything in mind. If anything, I'll probably choose geology. Um, yeah. All right, Omer, it's your turn. I'm going to be bombing Billy just after a thousand feet in the air. Oh, man, that's... that's You're going to be murdering people. Go ahead. All, in, all, all in the name of oil. Oil? Oil. Uh, but for real, though, uh, uh, that's a knowledge. Stuff is all kind of fucked up because all the recent events and shit. So, but I'm planning on... Uh, Joining the uh, U.S. Army and becoming a signal support specialist, 25 uniform, if I remember the name correctly. And basically, you're just working with radios. So, eight years of that. So, it's like nine weeks of basic training. So, like, you get the basics. Then 20 weeks of of radio training. That's going to be pure hell. And then... I think I chose. I think it was like five weeks of airborne training where I could jump, where I jump out of airplanes. Yeah, so that's gonna Ooh. be fun. Tom yeah. Cruise. I don't need a parachute. My Cruise. bare legs can take it. Yeah, they have a saying there that if if I don't have a parachute, then watch out below, cause I'm airborne. Motherfucker, you can get splat. Watch out for the splash zone. Just land in the water. You'll be fine. Uh, but sir, this is this is Iraq. There ain't no water for miles. Yeah, oh, you'll oh, land. Yeah, you'll yeah. find somewhere around there. You'll find a, you'll find a place. Iraq bodies of water. Oh, uh, I I asked my recruiter why I didn't why I didn't why can't I do like the airborne training first? Because you know, like I could hit trees and shit. <clears throat> and so I said, like, okay, what if I learned like twenty weeks of like important info relating with electronics and stuff. And then on during my first week of airborne training, where I jump out of the airplane, I bonk my head on the tree and I lose all of it. And you just laugh. So uh, I'm possibly gonna lose a lot of info. Oh man! All right, what's but, next? 
But I feel like it's like a it's like a steady slope. First, they're starting you starting you off with something uh, more grounded, and then having you do um, what did you say it was airborne training, yeah. uh, slowly uh, pushing you up to it. Because like, wouldn't you be anxious if you like you you showed up and then the first thing that you have to do is fucking jump out of a plane? Yeah. Well, actually, it's three weeks. There's one week of. Like in the classroom, second week you're jumping off from like a building or something like that, like uh, mm-hmm. like a ladder, and then third week five jumps from an airplane. They're all different. So five fucking jumps. Yeah, you the first to go skydiving just to prep to prepare. Nah, just for nice. Nah, it's <laughs> it's fine. I I'll get it. I'll learn it over there. You know, it's basically free skydiving. So the first one, I I believe, like you just jump out with like gear, which is like 150 pounds or some shit. And then second jump, you do it at night. Third jump, you just do it with a parachute, no. And the other ones are called Hollywood, so they're like, so they're fucking, you know, Hollywood. You know, they Hollywood. be fucking. Yeah. They... <laughs> All right. What's next on the uh, list? Oh fuck! You're cutting off really badly. <clears throat> Who the? F- oh, you are. <laughs> All right. All right. You're good. That's why I I rebooted my router in times because I knew something like that would would be happening. It happened last time I did the podcast. Um. So what do you guys want to talk about now? Because I'm I'm looking at topics and I don't know if y'all will resonate with all of them or any of them. That bitch, Carol Baskin. Mm. No. Too bad. I agree on the, the no. Shit out there. Nope, I agree on no. Okay, I'm just gonna say right now, whoever's listening, you, Car- Carol Baskin is a bitch. Just, just, I just want you to know that. That's it. And Joe Exotic deserves to rot in jail. Phenomenal job. <laughs> Jose, you're cutting off really badly. Bruh. You want me to say it again? <laughs> sure. Fuck it. To everybody who's listening, Carol Baskin is, is a bitch. Factual, factual. <laughs> we'll see. Joe, Joe, Joseph Maldonado, Passage, Shrivogo, a.k.a. Joe Exotic, owner of the GW Zoo in Oklahoma, deserves to rot in jail for what he did. The end. That's all I wanted to say. Well, so you cut, you cut off you, were for... you You cut off at the last <clears throat> part. Can you say that again? Joseph Maldonado, Passage, Shrivogo, a.k.a. Joe Exotic, deserves to rot in jail. Hey, you keep the cutting, you keep cutting off, bro. You, you keep cutting off. You need, you need to say that again. No. No. <laughs> the college bot just texted me right now. Let's... But it's There's it. still time to RSVP to the IG Live tomorrow night. Just let me know. The IG Live broadcast will start at 7 p.m. Eastern time to join. Just go to bit.ly slash IG um hyphen award hyphen letters at 7 p.m. ET period. Well, I see you there. Parentheses. <laughs> I like how you just reading really right? this no. off like you're the bot. <laughs> you're sponsoring the bot. You do realize that whole thing. Whatever makes me money. <clears throat> what? <laughs> whatever makes me money. I heard you say whatever makes me angry. That too. Halloween sucks. The huh? movie. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, oh. by Rob Zombie. That's a oh. terrible movie. For real. Yeah, he's decent. Rob Zombie's decent. His music is decent. He makes he, music? He looks like a homeless man. He Wait. makes music? He makes, <laughs> he makes music? Are you serious? Of course, Mexican. Of course, I'm serious. Rob Zombie makes music. Since when? What year? Like nine, like the eighties. He did music before he did movies. Oh, so he's like, so he he's a a replica of Carpenter. He made Carpenter made made music. He also made Halloween. Except Carpenter makes good music, and Rob Zombie has two good songs: uh, Dragula and Living Dead Girl. Dragula. I don't know what I mean. Yeah. Dragula. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is Rob Zombie's a good director. Is it what? Is a good director and uh, music artist. Um, well, I don't. I just. I don't <laughs> like his movies except one. So and that is really Halloween. Call him a good or bad. 
No, House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh, that's a good one. Alright, alright. Uh, why the fuck do you like Halloween? Like, why do you think that's a, such a great movie? Like, you think and don't say the music. Okay. But okay, the music is part of it. Fuck the music. Come on, that's you, like the most... You love the, the movie like, so much you can think of, of good reasons why it's good besides the music. Okay, but first let me just say, the music is... Whether you like it or not, the most iconic horror movie music of all time. Like, when you think, when you hear it, you automatically think of that white dude with the knife. No, that one would do. No, like, you fucking like don't. Do- yeah. What what else? Do you, when you iconic. hear the Halloween theme, what do you what do you think about? Uh, Psycho Halloween three. No, I mean like when you hear the the Halloween music, like not like the actual theme, not like Halloween music in general. Halloween. Halloween oh. 3. <laughs> I thought you were talking about horror songs in general. And well, I'm just like, oh, Psycho. Psycho is like the second or third most iconic. There's Halloween. The Exorcist theme is iconic. The Psycho theme is iconic. I've never heard of the Exorcist theme. Nightmare, my, what's the night, nightmare Before Christmas. I mean Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, Damn, mm-hmm. man, that shit gave me nightmares, man. Fucking best horror movie of the year. Uh, but yeah, I like... Well, I mean, come on. Halloween is... It's it's a fun movie. It, it it the cinematography is great. Okay. It's the atmosphere is great. It's creepy. Yeah. That's it. Nah, I don't see it. Hey, I like how you did how you didn't mention your favorite movie of all time. Huh? Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, Jaws. I don't know if it counts as a horror movie, but it is one of the most iconic music scores in in general. I, I don't know about the most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could agree on that. I think the most iconic is probably Star Wars, if I'm thinking about it. Next company. I'm gonna force myself to rewatch this movie. Which one? Because. Oh, yeah. Jaws. Yeah, I heard that movie was kind of shitty. You, you didn't. You didn't even rate it on Letterbox. You, you watched it before. I watched it and I didn't like it, and I'm just like, I don't want to disappoint Jose, you know. So I'm not gonna rate it. it, it it's a great movie. It it wasn't. It didn't become my favorite movie of all time until like two years ago. And why is that, my son? Because well, well, my for a long time, my favorite movies. There was like a. Like, uh, phases. I remember, I think Jurassic Park was one of my favorites at first. Then, like, The Dark Knight, Back to the Future, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate <clears throat> Factory. But, hey, that's a good-ass movie. I thought you didn't like that movie. Not the Tim Burton one, the Gene Wilder one. Oh. No, but, no, but as a kid, Tim, I like the Tim Burton one a lot. Mm-hmm. It's, it's all right, though. It won a, a couple of Oscars, you know. What the Tim Burton one? Yeah, it didn't win shit. Early in... it yes, only it, did. It, it was nominated for costumes. That's it. I think it won. It didn't win. Hold up. Let let me do. Let me let me fact check real quick. i oh, just okay. ask me. I I know, man. <laughs> it didn't win. <laughs> it got. Okay, it got nominated. It didn't yeah. win. What what won? Um. Hold up, give me a few minutes. Um, and... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. No. No. You're, you're the person that took a whole ass hour to get here. So uh, I, should, I should be the one hey, uh, fact-checking. I'm the author <laughs> expert around here. I can figure it out. Okay, two, what year did it come out? 2005. Memoirs of Regatia won in 2005. That's how I know it. Boom, I didn't even look it up. Memoirs of Regatia. So you're an Oscar expert? Um, I don't know if that sounds kind of narcissistic, but I, I'm up there, I guess. I'm trying, I, I was trying to make a joke out of it. Like, you're an Oscar expert? <laughs> Boo, oh, that uh, sucked. Get off the stage. Hey, I'm the off fucking the host, bitch boy. And I'll be the host then. No, about to kick. I mean, I mean, about to kick this dude. <laughs> 
You there's nothing on the screen. There's only one button on the no, screen. Yeah. And it says sleeve. Oh, what does it do? <laughs> Press it. <laughs> uh, I miss Christian Loki. Um, too bad he couldn't join us today. Nor um, Andrea. Maybe next time. Um, there won't be a next time because y'all are busy. I'm not. <laughs> We got nothing. We're in containment. The, the, what you mean? The Earth I'm is supposed closed. to be doing homework, but I don't do it. So te- technicality. I just I'm did my homework. I uh, hand hand over right. those answers. Huh? Oh, we gotta do the forensics. I looked it over, and it's a lot of shit. Uh, hand over the forensics too. While you're at it. I did. I didn't do it. Whoa, you <laughs> get it? Hand it over to me. I mean, shut the fuck up. You're you're lucky, Miss Fisher doesn't. Isn't aware of this podcast existence. She joins in. You just you, you just said her name. <laughs> Monday, Monday, Jose, and throw the <laughs> fucking new laptop out the window. No, it cost um two. How much did it cost? Two two. A man buy a laptop. Don't even know the price. Hey, it. it doesn't matter. It's paid for. Paid for by who? The school? By your father? <laughs> the homeless man down the street. I stole his can of cash. <laughs> That's not too far off because I feel like there's a homeless man roaming around 47th and Rockwell. There is. Oh, time oh, man. He's just looking for food. Uh, mm-hmm. Sexual, sexual. Oh, man. That, uh, Go away. That, that, that's, a good, that's some good shit. It's um, Omar. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, no. Pablo came into my room asking what the fuck I was doing. So, Can't you see I'm fucking fat in here? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah, good cover right there. That's a good cover. <laughs> Fuck, it's hot in here. Open the window. Oh, yeah, you don't have a window. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Invite Pablo to, to talk if he wants to. Next no, time. Bitch. Next time. <laughs> the only thing he... You, Jaime, he and you can bond over anime. Me? I said Jaime. Oh. And then... He can he does he like SpongeBob? I don't remember. He likes Steven Universe. Doesn't do any of you guys like that? No, not really. Uh, he likes. I don't remember. But uh, you've been living with him for how long? I don't talk. Just look to at him. the weird. Look at the weird shit he posts on Facebook. But he's posting on Facebook. Well, he like. I don't know. I don't know any of that. I don't know what any of that is. It's just a bunch of anime. Uh. <laughs> Maybe that's how he reacts to the shit you post. <clears throat> I don't. I only post like if like once a month. That is true. Every time somebody important dies, or when Governor Pritzker closed all schools, you were like, "His name is Pretzel." <laughs> pretzel. Yes, Governor Pretzel. Yeah. Governor Pringles. <laughs> yeah, let's go for some Pringles. Fuck, I'm hungry. Hey, yo, Hyman, what you got to eat at your place? We're not sponsored by Pringles. We can't mention... I mean, I mean, Prungles. I like Prungles. Prangles. Yeah. Uh, we we, we got to talk about the bootleg Pringles. Uh, the ones that they sell at Aldi. Which ones? Um, <clears throat> uh, hold up. Let me see. You guys want to... Stackers. Stacker. Aldi is a whole bootleg food store. Got a bunch of cereals. Wait, where? You guys want to have some flaming hot, flaming hot cheaters? Bro, I love me some honey flakes. <laughs> you guys want to eat some cinnamon crunch squares? Oh my god, bro, that's a whole <laughs> snack <laughs> right there. Stackers, what the fuck is this? What, what is that? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hey, look! Hey, Jaime, look! Jaime, look! It's made by Tom Clancy. <laughs> I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. Clancy Tom Brown? Clancy Stackers? What the fuck is this? Yo, Tom Clancy, like a Tom yeah, Clancy man. Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, man. Fucking... <laughs> P.O. How can that chip play the piano? He doesn't have any arms. Just max his body out. How can out you play the piano? You... <laughs> what if he snaps it, though? Like, what if it, like, goes... Go... <laughs> no... <laughs> Hold up, I, I'm, I'm trying to pull up another picture. <laughs> that's, dude, is that real? That looks, that's exact, that's, that's, it is that's real. like the honey cheerio. <laughs> honey nut crispy oats. Dude, 
Hold up. What does they, have a, they have a whole a real have money. A oh, real honey. <laughs> <laughs> Are you blind? Dude, it's. <laughs> Where's that real honey and natural. I can't. It, it gets blurred out. Wait, natural where plastic? The... What does that say? Oh, wait, that doesn't look. And then. Oh, it's made from real money. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> look at this whole collection of cereal boxes at Aldi's. Uh, if it fucking loads. Oh, Just, man. Uh, you're shitty, man. So, well, whoever's using your internet, tell them stop using it. Not going ID do be cheaper and taste the same, though. Thanks for your input, Christian. <clears throat> All right, we bonded over cereal. We We roasted Jose. Or borderline roasted Jose for taking too damn long. We should um, roast him again. I said I was sorry. I wasn't doing it on purpose. It just didn't work. Okay, okay boomer. I won't. I won't. I, I oh. Okay, I won't judge you anymore. Okay. Um. <clears throat> all right. What's on the topic? I mean, what's on the list of topics? <laughs> um. You have the list. You, you have the list, sir. So we can't see. Um, right now, I have Mario Kart on the list. No! Fuck Mario Kart. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then let's not talk about Mario Kart. Let's talk about closed movie theaters. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, I miss you and Jose theater. have fun with that? Omar, isn't there okay, a movie so you want to my... watch this year? Bad Boys 3! That's already on DVD. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got that Chuck DVD? Pot. Do I have that DVD? I mean, what? Hey, what the fuck are these? Bad Boys, hey, what are these Bad, Boys, <clears throat> Bad Boys 2 was good. Bad Boys 1 sucked. And <gasps> Bad, Boys 1, Bad Boys 1 is an even number. 2 is odd. Bad Boys 3 is... is fuck. No, wait. Uh, <laughs> I messed it up. Uh, old man, 2 is even. Old man 1 is odd. 3 is <laughs> odd. So, by default, Free is going to be ass, even though I heard it's the best one in the series. I'm going to fucking kill you. When this shit's over, I'm going to fucking kill you. Hey, Will Smith is old. He needs to star in grandpa movies now, not fucking action movies. Say that to fucking Martin Lawrence. Uh, Yeah, Mm -hmm. Martin Lawrence looks like he's melting. (laughs) I fucking hate you, man. I don't fucking kill you. He look, dude. He looks like Big Mama, but without the makeup. Oh no! Um, <laughs> you kept talking about him, Bad Boys too, when they were talking about uh, like what Will Smith did to his ass, and you're you're thinking, oh, talking about. Big oh Mama. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah when yeah. he shot him in the ass. Took yeah, off a little chunk. In- <laughs> I don't. I don't remember exactly because I haven't seen this movie in a while. But I think he got his foot foot uh bitten by a shark in the movie Beach Bum. <laughs> Or some, uh, something along those lines. Still gotta see that. I don't remember if... <clears throat> uh, it's, um, Martin Lawrence loves horny dolphins. That, that's what this uh, clip says. Uh, okay, let me check. How old is Martin Lawrence? Martin Lawrence is... Is... He is... 55. He was born in Germany. <laughs> Come again? He was, he was born in it's Germany. That dude was born in Germany. <laughs> okay, here. The fourth of six children, Martin Fitzgerald Lawrence, was born shit. on April 16th, 1965, in Frankfurt, West oh, Germany. Shit. His father, John Lawrence, was serving <laughs> in the U.S. military. So, he, so what I'm hearing is, he's an illegal. <laughs> Yeah. Sexual. Um, his birthday was a couple of days ago. <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh shit! <laughs> Speaking of which, Christian is um birthdays in like it's... what two days? Yeah. Poor bastard. <laughs> Who Christian? When was Martin Lawrence born in Germany? When he was born. I did not know this shit. I thought he was born. <laughs> well, are you being racist right now? 
You would be racist. <clears throat> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I mean, Jeff with the name yeah, Martin Lawrence. You were going to say he was going to, he was born in Detroit or something. <laughs> That's racist of you to assume that. And no. Hey, I don't, gonna you say, were going to say that. No. I was going to say Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, that could, that could Anyways, go off. I mean, I, it just caught me on surprise because Martin Lawrence is obviously like a very, uh. Yeah, I didn't know he was fucking born there. in Germany. Look, Will Smith was born oh, in Philadelphia. Wait, what? No shit, man. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. What's this? Will Smith was born in Philadelphia. Uh, obviously, no. Obviously, man. Fucking, have you seen any episode of Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I think you could. I think you could put. The, what the fuck is this? Tomorrow? I've only seen like two episodes. I've only seen the sad episodes. Oh, what? Bill Cosby was born in Philadelphia. Yes. Put the pills in the people. Kevin Hart. Yeah, the hub of the Wesley. What about Kevin Hart? Wait, I'm gonna look up actors that were born outside of the U.S. Vesey Elvis Presley was born in fucking Thailand or some shit. I'm fucking. He was I'm wasn't he born in Me- Me- Memphis Ooh. or something? Yeah, he was born in the south. Elvis. I mean, I should know. I watched the three-hour movie about his life. Piece of shit. But you didn't pay attention, now, did you? Yeah, that's true. It was boring as shit. Okay. Yeah, worse. Yeah, think... Millie Bobby uh, Brown was born in Spain. I don't know the fuck Jim Carrey was. was born in Canada. He's Canadian. Rihanna was born is. in Barbados. Barbados? Yeah. Where the fuck is Barbados? Wait, well, you said that was Carpenter's worst movie? Elvis? You're right. Yeah. Wait, Carpenter directed this shit? Yes, that's why I watched it. Where the fuck Didn't I send you a picture? Movie? Huh? Well, well, Mexican, it's been like three hours, it's been three weeks since you sent that <laughs> fucking picture. Well, he 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 wanted to direct it just because he said, eh, fuck it, I'll, I'll do it. I own cocaine and marijuana and LSD. He only, does, he only does weed. Oh, well, good for him. In, on, in some angles, head. he does look like Elvis, but in, in, but in other angles, he just looks like Kurt Russell with a wig. He um he played Elvis in Forrest Gump. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but they didn't focus on his face. They, yeah. they were just uh focusing focusing on young Forrest talking about moving my hips. I was feeling the music. Forrest, come down to dinner. Oh, we we was just playing guitar. Uh, <clears throat> this is not for the children's eyes. I didn't do anything appropriate with your. Uh, inappropriate with your son. Did you say that? <laughs> no. Something like that. Okay, what what other topic do I have here? Because a lot of it is just banter, which is good. Because a lot of our episodes ends up ends up being like banter. <clears throat> we address twenty eight tabs. Mm. Um hmm. <laughs> How do you feel? About not having school or uh, school being um, canceled uh, in its entirety. I, I, I miss it. I don't want it to be canceled. I want to go back. Well, not in its entirety. I mean, we still have we still have <clears throat> e-learning. Uh, but not everyone part. Fuck e-learning. No ev- I can't. I can't do e-learning, bro. I can't. Not, not everyone <laughs> partakes in be. e-learning, even if they would want to. Because like, I've been talking to people, and they say like. Even if I would want to do the assignments, like doing them at home is just like not something we could, I could do because I would need to be like in a, in a learning environment. Like I need to be like in, in like a classroom. Like it's so awkward having to do a test while video chatting your, your teacher. Yeah, I get distracted here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand why you would get distracted, Jose. Yeah, I have a TV, a piano, a laptop, a, a there phone. There he goes flexing again. Books, I mean, honestly, my like... my uh my pool, my hot tub, my Ferrari, my <laughs> Lamborghini, my banana bus, my uh my statue <laughs> of Mike Tyson encased in gold, the Evander Holyfield ear, um, um, David Beckham soccer ball. So I could celebrities be like, I'm bored. And their celebrities be having a mental breakdown in their twelve million dollar mansions. Yeah. Did you 
supposedly there was a clip where Rihanna was like on Instagram live and she was going crazy saying, I don't want to eat cereal anymore. As in her freaking mansion and shit. I'm thinking I myself. Think, like, I bet he. It ain't that bad. I mean, didn't like, Ellen? Hey. Ellen also got backlash for uh, saying something along those lines. Like how she felt like she was in hell living in her own fucking mansion. Be- because it's it's just silly. Yeah, it's silly that they're saying that. Her, her employees came out and said that she's not paying them during this quarantine. Oh, that's well. Even yeah. Kimmel, Fallon, Conan, um, Colbert, they're all paid. They're still paying their people. Ellen said, "Oh fuck them." Yeah, right now, like a lot of uh, people are saying, currently due to Corona, uh, the quarantine is basically kind of marking the end of the celebrity experience or like lifestyle mm-hmm. and because that's this is like the moment where people are realizing that the celebrities are just being like kind of douches in a way yeah <clears throat> like they're not truly like chill calm in their own time. yeah like they're not uh, taking in the privilege that they have at this moment they're not realizing that the, hey the, i'm in severity? so many so much of a good position compared to other people. And that's you got a, I got a, I got a big ass house. I got a house here. I got a house here that doesn't, and I don't even have my own room in here. In this house, they got so, a big ass house. These motherfuckers some, have some celebrities are doing, super are doing super good things though. Some celebrities are like reading Please. books live on yeah. air. They're reading kids books. Oh yeah, Samuel Jackson. What the fuck Patrick. is the point of that though? Patrick Stewart is. I mean, Patrick Sword is reading Shakespeare poems live, just and it's the silly. Oh, uh, oh, Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. Like that. That interest. I'm not. They don't help Patrick you go to sleep. <clears throat> I I like Patrick Stewart. I like what they're doing, but what's the motive behind it? What are Some they? Ga- like they're bored. They want to. They're bored. They want to get back to the community stuff like that. Then donate to a fucking charity. They do. They want to get. They want to get more. Right, right. I'm right now on my screen. And I'm not looking their money. at uh, the thumbnail of Conan's new video, and right there it says fundraiser. Hey, my man. I'm looking at this fucking Imagine video that Gal Gadot did. <laughs> uh, I don't know who the fuck that is. Wonder Woman. Man. Uh, don't ring a bell. Big forehead. Hey. Are you making fun of Gal Gadot? No, I'm just stating a fact. Yeah. Wait, what's wait? Spell, spell her name. G A L. Gal. G A D. Load. Gal. Yeah. What oh, happened? Oh, they got it. I think. Good for it. It's not that big. I don't know, man. It looks kind. Of, it, it looks like a five head over here. It's fine. She's beautiful. Leave her alone. You think everyone is beautiful? Who's yeah. Right? Well, what am I supposed to say? Oh, she has a crush. We do. Huh? That's some great Arabic you have there. <laughs> I mean, didn't we just call Martin Lawrence ugly? You did, you hey, fucking... Hey, hey, don't put words in our mouth. I don't want to put words You said hey. he was melting. Yeah, look at him. Yes, you did, Jose. Don't be fucking... Hey, whatever. Shit. Don't be saying, Plus, oh, we all cut him ugly. You cut him ugly. ugly. I just said that she has a big forehead. I disagree with that statement. Yeah, that's pretty much insulting her. I'm not... Okay. I'm sorry, Gal Gadot. Are you okay, Jose? If in order to chat? make up for your feelings, I'm gonna buy you a um, a twenty twenty seven inch by forty inch uh, Margot Robbie poster. I'm sorry, uh, you're not Margot good. Robbie but come from? Your fucking forehead is the size of my hand. Huh? <laughs> Why a Margot Robbie poster? We were talking about Gal Gadot. <laughs> Because you were talking up, because you were talking about distractions, and this is a good distraction for you in your room. I don't know if I have space for my. So you could, so you know, so you know, you could uh, spank it, go like. 
to the poster. I'm not gonna ruin the poster. No, that's the time. I mean, you don't have to do it on the poster. <laughs> you could just do it in the toilet. You could just go like. You know how suspicious it's gonna be if I take a big ass poster into the bathroom <laughs> of Margot Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture of it. Get a sock then. <laughs> I don't know where my socks are. I haven't worn socks in like a month. Come again, Mexican? You don't know where the fuck your socks are. Yeah, I don't. I only wear socks when I go outside. My my. I ha- and and yet you have lost yeah, them. They may they may. Be- Do you not have? Have you heard of this invention called drawers? No. In- dressers. Wardrobes. Tape, tape them to your room. Uh, you know, you do be losing socks here and there. Yeah. What's the point of wearing socks? Mm-hmm. My feet are sweating, man. It's you know, I don't lose socks <laughs> because I misplace them. I lose them because of you know the washer and the dryer. Mom found the poop sock. <laughs> I'm like I'm, I'm checking up on my socks, and next thing you know, <laughs> they got been reduced to atoms. Speaking of feet. Oh no. Uh, no, 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 shut no, up! I, I won't hear about this. From Madagascar, but okay. No. Mort, don't that's touch Quentin, the king's feet. Quentin Tarantino. Mort, I got in the car wreck and now I'm paralyzed. I cannot move it. Move it. <laughs> <laughs> that that one's good. That reminds me of the. Uh... The video that Jose and I saw of Monsters Inc. <laughs> oh, Mike was Mike Wazowski and, and Sully get into a car accident. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wario dies in car crash. Mario dies in car crash. Rip. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Have we talked about coronavirus? A little. Uh, bit. Uh, have you guys had? Do you guys know anybody who has it? Yes. Uh, like I vaguely know of some people that that have it, and like the condition that they're in is just like I, I don't I don't know how to explain it, but they're like, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? They're sort of. They're they're in quarantine. They're isolated from everyone else. And like, if they live in the same apartment as other people, they're confined on, only to their room. They can they cannot leave their room unless it's um to go to the bathroom or something along those lines. Other than that, they're supposed to be, stay in the room. Their family members can't go in with them. Uh, if they have a a nurse uh, on site, she's the uh, she or he is the only person that. Is allowed to go in and see the the person uh, suffering from Corona. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Do um, you guys I, know anyone? My uh, no. my uh, co- cousin's father in law has it, and from there on, it's just a, like a what's that feeling? Forensics like chain of command. Like they go meet someone, and then it goes to them, then it goes to them. So I just found out about it today, so I don't know what's up. But I don't, I'm kind of I'm kind of worried about them. A command hierarchy is a group of people who carries out orders. No, like a ch- ch- chain of um, command. Like it goes when it spreads. Like it goes from one person, then it goes to so, the next one. Yeah, that's a chain of command. Uh, yeah, it's a like a command hierarchy. That's what may be happening over there, but I, I don't know. I feel like we're getting the terms um, mixed this, up. Where's this? Where's his father in law? Oh, in, like, where's in he California. At? All right, good. Anyways, um, so, I mean, I hope he gets better. I, I, I mean, don't I don't, know the, I don't know the guy, so, but he, it's my cousin's father in law. All right. Yeah, well, wish him the best of luck. Anyways, um, I followed this one person on Twitter said that uh, <clears throat> her a close uh family friend of hers died due to it and. You know, you all remember my, y'all remember Sam? Yeah. yeah. Y'all mm-hmm. know Sam? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out, so shout his out friend, to Mr. Toribio. Mr. 47 Productions, follow him on YouTube. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> yeah, a little shout out for my boy, you oh, know? Yeah. Anyways, um, so his friend, uh, Rigo, y- y'all know yeah. Rigo, his, uh, his uncle has it. 
I believe. Really? Mm, it's, it's been a while since I heard from that. <sighs> I'll be right back. I need to go burn some people. Have fun, Red Dalton. Right. Oh, you put your ass out of uh, okay. That marks the end of episode 3 of the Wisto Times with Friends podcast. As stated by Tony various times throughout this episode, there is a second part to this. As this podcast session was recorded for 2 hours and then released as two 45 minute episodes originally. This was Christmas with the Cox Volume 1 and Christmas with the Cox Volume 2, or Episode 4 is up next. Thank you for listening to the Whistler Times with Friends podcast. I'm the French narrator from SpongeBob SquarePants. Good night and good luck.